Let's take a look at how a mobile web app written for the iPhone can take advantage of some of the native user interface features available for the iPhone. To do that, I'm going to open up a demo application, the JQ Touch Framework. And let's use the DOM inspector inside Mobile One to look around just a little bit. Notice that right off the bat we see we have the Apple Touch icon is specified using a link tag and it gives the file name. The startup image that's going to be used by the application is also specified here using another link tag. And then there are two important meta tags here. One uh, shows us that we want to have a full screen web app. That means remove the Chrome when it's launched from the web clip. And then also we have a status bar styling tag where we can change the status bar style to black. So to activate these features we have to save this web app off to the home screen, make a, make a web clip. Now we see here that we have the custom touch icon. So we, we can click this to launch. I don't know if you saw it, but there was a custom startup image that was shown there. And then now we notice that both we have the black status bar that's styled here, and then there is no Chrome, there's no address bar or button bar. Just to make the startup image a little easier to see, I'm going to change the network speed down to something much slower than Wi-Fi, like 3G. And I'm going to launch it again, and now we can see as the uh, app is loading the resources, it's showing the startup image for a little bit longer until the page is fully loaded.